Our next stop is it, we come to Hampshire, to the market town of Alton, to visit Derek Human. Derek won, first and second Alton, British Barcelona Club, Nance National, in 1996. Good afternoon Derek. Good afternoon Keith. Thanks for letting me come and see the pigeons today. We go back a few years mate, don't we? We certainly do. Okay. How, long, how long have you been in the sport? Uh, since I was 12, so I'm 55, so 40 some odd years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What's one or two of your best positions? Best positions, winning the Central Southern Classic first and second in 1981. Again I won in 1982 and in 1984 I was third. Yeah and of course you hit the jackpot a couple of weeks ago when you was uh, first and second in the BBC National. Yeah I've had one or two good pigeons in the BBC before. I've won the section from Nance but I've never won the Open. It is really a treat to win the Open. Yeah, I must say a lovely spot here right in the middle of the countryside. Ideal for the pigeons. Yeah it's a good spot but I've raised pigeons all over Hampshire. I never stay in one place too long. Yeah. I move a lot, so my pigeons don't really get sold. This is the longest I've been in one spot for racing. That's a nice looking blue end. What's this one, Derek? This is Rose. This is the one that was first open Nance Barcelona Club. Also, she was six open from Bergerac in the central southern with only six pigeons on the day. Timed her at 25 past nine. After that year, I rescued her from the lane from a sparrowhawk. She was in a very bad condition, but she was such a good pigeon, we nursed her back to health, and this is how she's repaid us. But yeah. she had two years off after she was injured. Yeah, what family of pigeons is she? She is a Les Davenport Catrice. Yeah, I was a very good friend of Les, and he gave me some good pigeons. Not many, but just a few. Yeah, what, he, he, was she a natural pigeon? Yeah, she was a natural hen. She was sitting 10 days. This is Derek's old bird section. These pigeons look natural in here, Derek. Yes, these are the eight natural pairs. And up in the right hand box is Rose with her mate who's just come off the eggs and he's flown towards the camera. Yeah. What system do you race your old birds on, Derek? I race natural and widowed. Yeah, do you widow cots go right through to the extreme distance? Yes, I sent them right through to Barcelona. Yeah, how about feeding them? Do you feed them on widowed mixture? No, I feed them all the same, just a basic mixture. I hopper feed both the widowers and the natural pigeons. Yeah, do you break the widowed pigeons down? Not at all, no. How about before they go to the races, do you show them the hens on Friday nights? I show them the hens on up to 250, but I don't over that. Yeah. How long do they get their hens for on return from a race? I leave them in Saturday when they return and Sunday. Yeah. How about when they go on the extreme long distance races to Woodward Cox? Do they get their hens before they go? Yes, I usually give them the hens for 48 hours if it's going to be their last race. Yeah. And they perform well at a distance? Yes, they've, I've had some tremendous results. I was 8th Open Barcelona with a Woodcock and I was 8th Open Poe with a Woodward Cox. Yeah. What do you think is best then on the distance, your natural pigeon or your Woodward? me natural because I've always raced hens better than I have cocks. Yeah, you like the hens? Yes. They seem truer on a long distance race, don't they? They do. They're more reliable. These are a few of Derek's young birds. How many babies you breed each season, Derek? 30. Yeah, how far do you race them? I race them right through the programme, right through the wrens. Yeah. How about training them? I train them fairly hard until we start racing and then I don't train them at all. Yeah. How about feeding? They're hopper fed all, all the season. They certainly look well, mate. Have you started training yet? They've had one toss at five miles last night. It's a nice blue pigeon. What's this one, Derek? This is the one that was second open in a bit of Barcelona Nance. This pigeon has also been 44th open Bergerac. And also, she won the section as a young bird from the British Barcelona Wrens. She yeah. went and also was seventh open. Yeah, what family is she? This is a Conipius. This is the only conipius I've got because this was a gift pigeon from a friend.
This is Derek's national winner, Rose, sitting on her nest. I notice that Derek doesn't use nest bowls. What famous of pigeons do you keep then, Derek? I keep Catrice and Harry Vizzers. Yeah, how about stock pigeons? You don't appear to have any stock birds. No, I don't keep any stock birds. I race my pigeons right out. They've got to race before I breed from them. Yeah. I notice you haven't got any nest bowls in. That's a bit unusual, was it? Oh, I like them to be natural. I like them to bring their own nesting material in and, and put it where they want it, not where I put it. Yeah, do you have a, a, an open loft? No, my birds go out once in the morning and once in the evening. Yeah, why is that in? So I can control them yeah. and they're not a nuisance to any neighbours. Yeah, I notice you're out in the country here. Yeah? You, have, you have a hawk problem? I have got a sparrow hawk problem, but I um, do deal with it. This is the blue cock that I raced this weekend from Saints, 371 miles. He was 10 hours 15 minutes and he was two and a half hours in front of the pigeon that was second in our club. Yeah, sounds like a good pigeon in the fed then, Derek. I would imagine he'll be in the first 20 at least out of about 3,000. Yeah, what fam is he? He's another Catrice. Is he natural widowed? He's the widowed. He's out of the widowed section. Yeah, has he raced any further? Has he gone the extreme distance? No, this is his. This was he's only a year and then that was his last race. I must say, Dirt, you've got a magnificent garden here. Yeah? Who's the gardener? My wife's the gardener. I, all, all I do is mow the grass. You can see her in the picture now. She's doing some weeding with her granddaughter. Fantastic garden, mate. Absolutely wonderful. This is this is my loft. This is the only loft I have. I've been in pigeons a long time and I've had lots of different lofts but this time I built my own out of all the bits and pieces that was left over from the barn renovation. I'm very pleased with it, it's about 30 foot long in one long and it's got five six foot sections which I find with a few pigeons in each section they race much better. Yeah I see the ventilation through the VLUX windows in the roof. Yeah and also I've got air bricks all around the bottom and it's completely closed in. It's all glass, I notice. It's it's very dry, very warm, but never smells. Uh, how about trapping, Derek? Would you try to trap? I just trap through the bolts on the top with the little drop boards. Very old-fashioned, according to some of my visitors, but that's the way I like it. It's beautiful, mate. It's in a beautiful setting here too, mate. Oh, the pigeons really love it here. They're really at home. This is my granddaughter, Rose. She's very keen on the pigeons. If she's up, she's always out here with me, yeah. feeding them on the lawn. And also, if she takes up pigeons, she will be the fourth generation, because my father raced them, I raced them, and my son raises them. Good luck to her, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Derek, thanks very much for having me around today, and congratulations on winning the British Barcelona National this year. Thank you very much, Keith. It's been a pleasure talking to you.